Mr. Levitt here. Willing and able and have the power to help you in your electrical principles understanding. I'm going to take you through two, count them, uno, dos examples of the good old fashioned principles of electricity, uh, of power, using energy, current, volts, time, all those good things, joules. Let's just get to it. Okay, so here I have a question. Let's say a gas generator <clears throat> consumes 15,000 joules of energy in five minutes. So the question is, how much power is produced in this time? Now, power is the amount of energon, joules, uh, for, it's basically joules for every second. Okay? Okay? So joules per second. Or watts. Okay? Or watts. You can think of power as that. So that gives us a hint of what our our formula is going to look like. Now you are used to, if you're in my class, the formula of energy, I'll write it over here, energy equals power times time. So that's helpful. Okay, that's the first thing that's probably popped into your head. So where I ask my students to go to, and no matter what designation of science you're in, chemistry, physics, biology, or general sciences alike, if you want to succeed on calculations questions, you must write down the given information. So I know that 15,000 joules represents energy. So I know that energy here in this question equals 15,000 joules done and done. I know that we also are given time in minutes. So our time is equal to 5.0 minutes. Now I'm going to convert that instantaneously to second because we're demanded to by the laws and powering principles of electricity. It's joules per second. I need this in seconds, so I'm going to multiply it by the ratio given in our hearts and minds that for every 60 seconds there is one minute. These things will cancel each other out, and this will give us, well, 5 times 60, that's 300 seconds. We're left with seconds, okay? I'm going to go over fast by that. I'm not going to explain what I just did. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your math teacher. You already know in my class how to do this. So, we have energy. We have time. We have the formula power equals... Well, we don't have a formula for power. I just gave you this one. So if you understand, if you are in my class, I'm going to draw the almighty triforce of power. Okay? And I'm going to fill it in because we have one, two, three variables. I'm going to fill it in. P and T are beside each other. You see how they're just right next to each other? So I'm going to maintain that consistency, P and T, and then fill in the gap with E. Now, given the fact that we want power... Instead of manipulating formulas, that's what this triangle does. You, this is review for most of you. If not, follow along. This is a shortcut past manipulating formulas. So if I'm looking for, if I have this tri triforce here, if I want to look for power, I'm going to cover power. I'm going to power equals what? Cover up power. Well, E over T. Energy over time. Which makes sense because we already know the power is energy over time or watts. So if P equals E over T, all we really have to do is take our converted seconds and our 15,000 joules, and we're going to have to input it in to plug these, this number into this formula. So we have, I'm going to work over here, P equals E over T, which equals energy. See, I'm glad I wrote this down because now my whole problem is nice and organized. 15,000 joules divided by our time, which we converted into second, 300 seconds. And if you were to go ahead and punch that into your calculator, you're going to be getting a grand total of 50 joules per second or 50 watts. Okay? Understand? Let's go on to the next question. Okay, so I apologize for my writing, but you know what? Who cares? I understand power, and I'm pretty sure you will stop caring about my writing 
as soon as we get through this and you're so happy that you understand this. Here is a different question involving a different equation with power. So a toaster extraordinaire uh, connected to a 110 volt power source has 6.8 amps of current flowing through it. What is the power? Okay, how much power is dissipated through heat? Okay, because that's what a toaster does through heat. So we have uh, a power source and current flowing through it. Once again, a smart, the smartest thing, the most, the best thing that you can do in mathematical cal calculations in science is to write down what the question gives you. I know that the we have volts of 110. We have a current, which is we use the letter I equals 6.0. Okay, so here's volts and amps. And we are looking for the power. Now, this is a great way, VIP, what up? Um, this is the most organized way that I do things. So it takes longer, yes, but if you do this and you understand what you have and what you're looking for, you'll never forget it in the recesses of your mind when you're trying to organize things without writing things down. Bad idea. So, Organize it with a pencil or pen on your piece of paper. Use a scrap. So we know through our formula sheet that power equals uh, current multiplied by its power source. Okay, we can also put this into a mighty triforce of power. Okay, to organize it and avoid um, avoid the uh, the manipulation of formulas. Well, I and V are right next to each other. Nothing's over top anything else. So I and V and you fill in the blanks with P. So if you're looking for power, cover power, it's current times voltage. Okay. Now we don't have to do this. We don't have to do any manipulation whatsoever. So all we have to do is plug in our formula. So P equals I times V 6.0 amps times 110 volts. Using your calculators or, or your mind or whatever, you'll get 660. Now, power is what? Power, we already know that power is measured in watts. Okay? You understand that? Or we also have it, um, volts, amps is also another unit if you want. Volts times amps equals watt. Power is in watts. So the answer is 660 watts, all right? Now, let's go through really quickly the possibilities of the triangle, the triforce of power here. Uh, how do you like that? Now, I have these two triangles of the two formulas that we just used. Now, it depends on the question. I gave you really easy questions. You could have questions that are asking you find the power. You can have questions that... Uh, find the energy. Well, this is so key to be able to know how to calculate for energy when we when you go into efficiency questions. Here is time. What if you ask these questions? How much time does it take for this much energy and this much power to go through a toaster or something like that? I don't, you know, whatever. You can use this triangle to figure things out. So let's say we're looking for P. You cover P on the triangle. Well, E over T. What if you're looking for E? Cover the E. What if you're looking for T? You cover that T, and lo and behold, it is E over P. Once again, this is a shortcut to manipulating formulas. So I have this one here. Power equals, you cover the power equals current times volts. What if you're looking for current? The question says how much current is running through at this much power and wattage. Boom. Power over, see how it's over voltage. And what if you're looking for voltage? We'll cover the V. P over I. This is how I do things in my class. This is a shortcut to uh, uh, for, uh, uh, this is a shortcut through manipulating formulas mathematically. Okay. Some teachers don't agree with this method. I don't care if my students use this, but remember this oh this triforce of power only works when there's three different variables. Okay. You cannot use it with four. Well, you can, but this is let's keep things simple here. So if you like this method. Um, use it. So make sure you write down. You write down the your what you're given in the question, what you're asking for. Manipulate the formula as 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 you need to, and go from there. I hope this helped.